Hey guys, Barkat here and in today's video, I will be covering how to use Google Keyword Planner. So if you don't know how to use Google Keyword Planner properly for doing keyword research for any types of things, maybe it's for SEO or maybe it's for Google Ad. So in this video, I will be covering each and everything you need to know about the Google Ad, I mean Google Keyword Planner. So just stick with this video and watch this video till end and you will get a proper idea how to use the Google Keyword Planner. So to use Google Keyword Planner, you should have a Google Ad account first. So if you don't know how to create a Google Ad account, so you can easily create Google Ad accounts by just writing Google, you know, ads.google.com. Let me show you. So ads.google.com, if you just hit enter and you will land on this page. If you don't have any Google Ad account, so you can, you know, like start now or maybe sign in. So I do have a Google Ad account. like like i have multiple google ad accounts so you know i just land on my google ad account real quick and once you land on this google ad account under tools and, and under planning you will find the google keyword planner just hit on the google keyword planner and here we go so in google keyword planner there are a couple of things you know you can do you can find some new keywords you know search volume keyword cpc and everything for google ads and if you use google keyword planner only for seo you can do the same thing not a big deal but you know if you want to find any keyword forecast using google keyword planner is possible you don't need to pay anything so this is the beauty of the google keyword planner it's free you know it's 100 percent free you don't need to pay anything to use google keyword planner so what i will show you today you know to find some good keywords using google keyword planner so we will go with the discover new keyword just click on this discover new keywords and new window or new pop-up will you know like came up so so here you can see you can change the language and you you can you can change also the areas you know from where you are doing the keyword research let's say if you want to really you know like do the keyword research only for one area or maybe you know particular state in the us it's possible just write down the state name let's say for texas i can include texas here and i can remove all of the you know like the country and if any types of keyword i do all i mean whatever any purposes maybe it's google ad maybe it's seo google will show the keywords you know difficulties google will show the keyword cpc from exit texas area for my specific keywords so this is the beauty of the google you know keyword planner so for now i will just hit save and here you can you know write down some random keywords maybe maybe you know let's say if you are just from plumbing industry and you want to do a keyword research for plumbers so i will just you know hit plumbers and plumbing company plumbing uh, company and maybe uh, you know local plumbers local plumbers and here is the one important thing i missed out so you know you can also start with the website so if you really know you know any types of you know competitor website you can paste the url here and google will find you the exit or maybe some relevant you know keywords which these website are using or kind of thing so yeah i mean you can also use the website you know to start with i mean to see the what types of keyword they are using but i will use some keyword phrases here today so what i already wrote here so once i am done i'm just you know get results and google will show us lots of keywords i believe see there are lots of keywords you know like almost 1800 keywords from texas area only for plumbers and if i just add more keywords here and google will show us lots of ideas so here are a couple of things you need to see so first thing is the keywords you know these three keywords i entered here and these all are the relevant keyword google google is thinking you know these all are relevant that's why it's showing and you can see the average monthly searches you know the year to year changes competitions you know ad impression share because i am not running any ads for this kind of keyword so that's why you know there is nothing but here's the most important thing you know these two column one is the top of the page width you know low range and one is the top of the page with high range you know what are, what does it means you know let's say i am willing to run google ad for a plumbing company in texas and my target keyword is plumbing keyword and if i just target this plumbing keyword you know as the phrase match or maybe exit match whatever you know there are thousand there are hundred of you know factors but initially i can say under you know 13 or maybe you know 14 pounds i wouldn't get any clicks you know for this plumbing you know company 
company keywords exit match variant you know 13 pound because i am from uk so that's why it's pound but i would say it would be maybe 16 to 17 dollar something like this maybe so yeah you know forget about it like if you are from you know let's say you know any anywhere in the us and you set up this google ad account from your region so it should be you know your currency so yeah forget about it so the point I am trying to make here, you know, these two column is important, you know, for Google ad experts. So if you hire in Google ad expert or maybe if you want to, you know, like run Google ad, Google ad for your business by yourself. So this is these are the most crucial column. You should see, you know, what types of keyword you are targeting plus, you know, how much you should spend, you know, to get some clicks, you know, on Google ads, not for conversions, I am saying so it's for clicks. So there are lots of things you can see so this is how google you know keyword planner works in terms of choosing the keywords you know and here on the right hand side you can see it brand or non-brand you know if i just exclude all of this i mean if i just uncheck all of this so google will not show all of these keywords on here so and you can see like see five step plumbing it's there are four keywords related to this and if i just mouse over this one so you can see there are number of the keywords is four five star plumbing related and average monthly search volume is 300 and same thing you know you can find all of this basically when i do keyword research i uncheck all of the brand one because i don't want to you know show my ads for any types of branded keywords so i just go with the non-brand one and this is the first thing you can do and here you can see the services there are you can also you know i mean when i do the ad group breakdown i follow this kind of things you know like emergency plumbing i just uncheck all of them except the emergency one and when i do the keyword research for emergency plumbing it should be one ad group for emergency plumbing and same thing i do for all of the services you can do you know whatever you want here and uh, here is the amenity one you can see heating bathroom you know toilet kitchen shower you know whatever you want to do you can do here let's say you know if i just if i just uncheck the heating one so google will not show any types of heating related keyword on here and google will show all types of x i mean all types of keyword you know you can see here let's say you know if you're doing keyword research for a plumber but your plumber don't provide any types of air conditioning you can uncheck this one and you can find you know without air conditioning you know keywords on here so this is the beauty of you know like using this kind of filters and same thing resources water swear air so let's see your plumber don't provide any types of air related services so you just uncheck this here and you know you will see all keywords related to the you know water and swear but you know this is the thing and same thing for others you can see there are lots of you know i mean competitors you can uncheck all of them from here then you can get a refined keyword list uh, here so this is how you can you know use this kind of keywords here once you are done with the refined keyword you can download this keyword sheet you know by just clicking on the download keyword ideas and you know you can download all of these things in one time and one most important thing i forgot to mention here so you can check the you know i am just doing the keyword research for last 12 months if you want to see for only for last month and if you want to just if you want to just see the keyword search will and difficulty for last 24 months or maybe last month or maybe any custom dates you want to see you can also see here but generally you know i use one month i mean 12 months period to do the keyword research whether it's for seo whether it's for you know google ads and anything so yeah i highly suggest you to use these kind of things i mean use longer window maybe 12 months i think 12 months 12 months is fine you know to the do the keyword research at least and you can also you know like add lots of filters here as well you know keywords like you know if if any keywords contains let's say x amount of or maybe you know any tips specific i mean a keyword let's say i just want to see all types of keyword which includes plumber and if i just hit apply and i will see all types of keyword just i mean contains you know plumber word so yeah you can do lots of things you know inside this keyword planner and there are lots of things you can you know like sort your list using this kind of filters like top page bid you know lower range or top page bid higher range you know you can you know like do lots of things here as i mentioned that so this is the beauty of the keyword research and and it's free as i mentioned so yeah feel free to go around all of these things you know how it works and also when i do keyword research for my google ads clients and i also use this google keyword planner 
to you know make my negative keyword list so let me show you how to do all of these things you know under one tool as i mentioned that you know you can exclude all of this brand name i just copy and paste the brand name here and i just you know like put down all of this brand name under one you know excel sheet so that i can exclude them from my campaign easily and you can find lots of irrelevant you know i mean uh word here because this is how google thinks these all are relevant to your i mean business or maybe to your keywords which you provided like plumber plumbing company local plumbers this keyword this three keyword we put and google is saying that these all are the relevant i mean i would say just i will exclude the cheap word and i will exclude the 24 hour because my plumber if my plumber don't provide 24 hour services i would exclude the 24 hour word as a phrase match from my campaign level router router you know this is a i mean it's a competitor website i i know that you know mr router is also a competitor so yeah you can do you know like lots of things things you know using one list so i would say play with this tool a little bit and you will get the idea how it works so i think you got my point you know so if you have any question regarding the google keyword planner or maybe how to do the keyword research using the google keyword planner so i do have one video you can watch my video and i will link this video on the you know below description so that you can have a look and if you have any question feel free to ask you know or maybe you can comment below and if you really like this video i humbly request you to subscribe to this channel and like this video and you can share this video with your friends if they wants to learn google ad or maybe you know if they are willing to learn any types of things regarding the you know keyword planner or maybe you know any types of google ad things or maybe digital marketing so i think i am done for today and i will see you in the next one have a great day bye bye